I'm out here crappie fishing this morning. Looks like I got the whole lake to myself. The surface temperature is 66 degrees. It's April the 27th. April 28th, I mean. And the water is stained. I'm going to see if I can't elicit a strike out of this tree right here. You want to talk about some beautiful scenery. So I'm in about six to seven feet of water here. Here's one fish. Oh, nice old crappie too. Nice crappie. I'm gonna go ahead and put a net on him. Oh yeah. <clears throat> That's probably a good 12 inch, 12 inch crappie right there. Hopefully I can stack these up in this bucket right here today. I ain't been having no kind of luck here this year with all the rain and high muddy waters Let's see if I can't elicit another strike down here just can't ask for a better setting out here today flowers are blooming. I can smell them. You know how you can smell them flowers in the springtime. They smell so good. Nice crisp air. All the birds. I even hear a few red winged blackbirds. There we go. <laughs> Another bass. Well, I reach back to turn that cording off on that fish finder, and my rod just went down. Feel like a really big fish but all we got here is a little baby bass I'm trying to keep myself on this top I got the wind and the current is pushing me
Here we go. We got us another little copy there. That's about eating size right there. Washing dishes on his boat. I tell you, I've become spoiled with the river systems and the way that the river systems work. If the river systems are, are right with the conditions, you can catch a bunch of crappie in a very short amount of time. But when they're messed up, you can't hardly catch anything in there.